I'm Melissa Shannon, founder of Digital Scrapbooking HQ.com, and today I'm here with a tip for you in Photoshop Elements Organizer. If you're a digital scrapbooker, you probably enjoy putting together your own designs of photos, papers, and embellishments. But did you know that you can use templates to help you get started? Templates are a sketch to tell you how to lay out the photos, the journaling, the title even, and place everything on your page. If you're like me, you might have purchased quite a few different templates and you'd love to be able to find them when you need them. So in Photoshop Elements Organizer, we can do that. I've created a custom keyword tag called templates and then I've numbered from zero to 10. And I can easily drag on a tag to tell myself how many photos this template has to make it easy for me to refer back to them later. There we go. We've got four photos on that one and we've got 12 photos. I don't count, um, I don't make categories for anything over 10 because it seems like you could just choose them out yourself because they're a bit more common to have fewer than 10. I just keep flipping through and adding those tags. So now if I want to go ahead and find all my templates, I'll clean my search and then I'll just click on this templates this little checkbox that will display all of everything I've marked as a template no matter how many photos so that makes it easy for me to browse through and choose which one I want or I could choose to just look for photo for three photo templates by clicking on this oops let's, let's go back and clear that search here we go. So here are all the three photo templates that I can choose from. And let's see what's in our 10 plus photos. There we go. Quite a few to pick from there. So what if you've just started organizing your supplies and you've imported a whole bunch of different things, not just a set of new templates? How could you go about finding those templates to add the the tags to them. What you need to do is go to find by details and metadata and then you can search by the file name ends with PSD and sometimes template designers end them with uh, TIFF. So we can find files that end with any of those either PSD or TIFF files. Let's click search and see what we come up with. Okay, so there's a few files that are, you know, like my working files. Here's a scrapbook page I made with that other template. But in general, most of these will be templates. So then it's just a matter of going through, counting and dragging those tags on there. There's a one photo template. This one has two. This one has four. This one has five. Two. One. And so on and so forth. So I hope that has been helpful for you. It's a simple way of how you can search for your templates in your photo library and also how you can tag them to make it easy to find all of those templates in your growing scrapbook library. If you'd like to learn more about organizing your digital scrapbook supplies, head to digitalscrapbookinghq.com slash OA slash go supplies just about got that URL wrong 
it's digiscraphq.com slash OAV. Did it again. Digiscraphq.com slash go supplies, all one word. Can you tell I've been uh, promoting my organizing for absolute beginners class? That one covers photos. The one you want for your digital scrapbook supplies is digiscraphq.com slash go supplies. All right. I will be back next week with our tip of the week. In the meantime, let me know what you thought of this tip and let me know what other things you'd like to learn about Photoshop Elements. Thanks so much for joining me. And if you'd like to learn more about Photoshop Elements or digital scrapbooking, head to digitalscrapbookinghq.com.